Hi there, welcome once again to the Dukascopy TV studio. I'm Ben Jones. Alongside me to discuss CIS investment in Switzerland is Jan Kuba. Jan, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for your invitation. So, can you begin by discussing the current situation in Switzerland in terms of investment from the CIS? Um, Switzerland and Russia can look back on uh, 200 years uh, of uh, diplomatic relations. Investments from uh, CIS are uh, in constant growth, uh, in particular with Russia, since Switzerland signed a memorandum of uh, understanding in 2007 uh, for uh, intensive economic cooperation. The latest estimate of Russian investments uh, reported approximately around uh, 50 billion uh, Swiss francs in, uh, in Switzerland, uh, representing the third of uh, Russian foreign investments, uh, including uh, 250 million of uh, direct investments. Memorandum of uh, Understanding and uh, Investment Protections uh, Treaties between Switzerland and the CIS uh, strengthen economic relations and a favorable investment climate. Uh, for example, um, Azerbaijan is uh, increasingly uh, interesting in, uh, in Switzerland as a location for business. Uh, the investors uh, view uh, Switzerland as a gateway uh, to the European Union. Azerbaijan is uh, interesting in, in diversifying its uh, activity, uh, given that energy products represent a major part of the, the exports. For example, Kazakhstan also, the, the organization of the 2017 World Expo and green energy um, will be held in, in Astana. Uh, the Swiss know-how, uh, particularly with uh, regards uh, to clean tech, uh, can be demonstrated and gives uh, an alternativeness for uh, Swiss companies. Uh, I would say the neutrality of Switzerland allows good relations established over the decade and a trustful cooperation with the CIS that invests in Switzerland. Okay, so why do CIS investors invest in Switzerland? Russian, Azeri, uh, Kazakh investors, uh, groups or companies have defined um, uh, objectives and a good knowledge of the Swiss market. Investors are interested in uh, Swiss projects. Uh, they can acquire uh, Swiss companies for exploiting and developing uh, its technology and patents. Investors can also create a company in Switzerland uh, to offer the, their products in Europe, uh, Russia and, and CS uh, uh, then. The proximity of the commodity trading uh, platform in Geneva and also in Zurich uh, for the Swiss financial center play an important role. Uh, there are strong legal security and political stability. Um, Swiss company provides an excellent image of international markets. Taxation uh, plays a, a central role in the development of a Swiss entity. Um, I would say that the tax situation in, in Switzerland is uh, advantageous in regards uh, of the low tax rates. Then the proximity of the Swiss Institute of Technology uh, in Lausanne and Zurich uh, provide uh, highly qualified human resources and uh, interesting business partnerships. Finally, um, Swiss neutrality and confidentiality plays an essential, essential role. Uh, transactions in Switzerland have uh, legal guarantees uh, of the confidentiality. Um, so we operate the, the transactions in, in accordance with the Swiss financial uh, regulations. Uh, investment through Switzerland is also uh, like a guarantee. Now, what kind of investment do you recommend? It depends on the type of investors uh, and its objectives. Uh, we essentially advise uh, the investors for um, direct investments uh, with um, uh, influence on the activities in Switzerland or for capital acquisition uh, of Swiss entity. Investment uh, opportunities in the field of uh, new technologies uh, are very promising. Um, such as biotechnology, internet, um, alternative energy, uh, fintech, um, and proximity to research centers and uh, local partners uh, allow proper monitoring uh, of projects. For example, we, we know also the, the State Department, uh, the Swiss authorities and business uh, process, uh, as well as um, international partners based in, in Switzerland. Uh, so we take care of uh, all further legal um, issues in Switzerland also and assist our clients in the suc successive uh, phase of investments. So we assist uh, the creation and the development of business uh, projects in Switzerland founded by uh, foreign investors or companies. 
So what should investors be careful of before investing in Switzerland or before using the Swiss market platform? Dialogue between uh, Swiss companies and foreign uh, investors is uh, very important. Um, I would say cultural difference and goals uh, have um, sometimes to be um, explained and uh, to be clarified to set up and to reach the objectives. Um, financial flows uh, through Swiss, uh, Swiss entities uh, acquire a certain uh, guarantee. So therefore, uh, banking transactions uh, require also special uh, cares. Uh, appropriate measure and uh, are subject sometimes to uh, clarification. So um, transactions require longer uh, period of time sometimes and it could be uh, useful to be assisted by a local partner to ensure the, the, that the transaction can uh, take place on time. Um, we are also involved in the structuring and financing phase of target companies and for the creation of new entities in, in Switzerland. So how do you see the evolution of investments between the CIS and Switzerland for the upcoming years? The CIS market is uh, strongly uh, growing. Uh, the Swiss political stability uh, makes Switzerland very attractive uh, to Russian, Azeri or Kazakh investors. Um, the development in, in the Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan play an important role uh, in, in Switzerland and will enable uh, to um, uh, new energies uh, with Switzerland in the next few years. Fantastic. Jan, once again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Do make sure you keep clicking back to Dukascopy TV as we'll be bringing you plenty more updates and exclusive interviews. Bye for now.